Good day. Today I want to talk about how to modify a calendar and or a PDF on an image that we use on a website. We have a lot of customers who post a monthly calendar in both a JPEG format, a picture, as well as the PDF. Um, in this case, uh, we have a spot where they can print the PDF as well as the calendar of the events. And it has to be changed on a regular basis. And there's a couple different calendars. So the way it works is we get in, uh, they do the calendar, and it's in a PDF. And you simply open that up in Adobe Acrobat. And you click on File, Save As. And you're going to change that to a JPEG, JPG, and save it in the folder. And once that's saved, then we have all the files we need to work with. Um, when you go into your dashboard you can view all your pages and then you're going to edit the calendar page. In this case I've already done the page on top so we're going to do the page on the bottom. The way this works is you highlight the item that's there and we're going to simply remove it. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to add media and we go to upload files and select the files and I'm going to select the new calendar and now that's upload I'm going to add a title and I'm just going to say April 2015 bridges calendar and to save time for this video, I'm going to simply copy and paste the alt text and description. Normally, you can put in a better alt text and description to help you with SEO. Uh, we're going to link to none on this case, and we're going to make it um, full size. And we're going to insert into page. Now, we need to come back and we need to edit this and we're going to flip over here to text and here where it has width and height we're going to highlight from inside the quote to inside the quote and we're going to put a hundred percent click back on visual now you see that it sizes the width of the screen. I'm going to click update just to be safe. I hate it when I get timeout errors. Now we're going to come back and we're going to do the PDF file. And you're simply going to highlight the print PDF. You're going to click on add media. At this point we're going to upload the PDF of that calendar which is the April GS PDF format. The title is what is going to display in that link so we're going to say print PDF. It's going to stay linked to the media file and that way when they click on the link it'll actually download the PDF so that they can print that on their computer. And at that point, we're done. Um, we go back up. We're going to click on Update. We can click on View Page to make sure that everything's correct. Now, if we're in the Calendar page, PDF, you see down here in this lower corner that it's going to go to April Calendar of Events. Again, print PDF is going to go to the April. And there's your calendar. You're all set. So thanks for paying attention and watching. If you got any questions, contact us at thewebdesignninja.com. Thank you.